Okay, Hans Shershaw here for X Pro Heli. Um, we are going to talk about the FPV, and Wes is actually going to do some really cool video overview of a few different kinds. Um, that might be a separate video, but we will have that. Basically, I wanted to go over this with you. When you get the on your transmitter, you're going to get a GoPro plug. When you do plug this in, you can plug it in backwards accidentally. So you want to make sure that the black wire is on the outside and you want to make sure the yellow wire is closer to the middle. So I'm going to let Wes take it over and he is going to show us basically how to set it up, how to put it onto the quad and uh, fly it. Hey guys, this is Wes Coughlin from X Pro Heli. And today we have the new FPV setup that we're selling on our website. This is the 5.8 gigahertz version and this transmitter here is the 500 milliwatt transmitter. Now, this is what you get when you purchase this FPV setup. And out of this transmitter, it comes with a power cord to plug into a battery, or if you have one of the newer XP2 quadcopters, there's actually a built-in power plug in your wire harness, so it'll plug directly into your onboard flight battery. It also comes with this AV cord. This one's for the GoPro camera. You can get other AV cords for different types of cameras, but this is the one we're including with this setup. Now we have the 5.8 gigahertz receiver. This receiver is connected to this super duper patch antenna, which is gonna give you a wider range. And the two cords that come out of the receiver is one power cord that's gonna be plugged into an external battery and an AV cord that's gonna be plugged into your monitor. When connecting your receiver to your monitor, we've had some ups and downs depending upon the different types of monitors we're using. We actually found out that cheaper monitors like portable DVD players and portable TV, um, little portable TVs that you can get at Walmart work really good for this type of monitoring system. It has to do with like the refresh rate and the signal and we've had some studio monitors that have you know, they blink out between the frames of, of these FPV setups. The one that we're using today is we're actually using go flight goggles. They're called Fat Shark. And they're goggles or video goggles specifically made for FPV. And we're just going to be plugging them in through the AV cord to our receiver. And these work really well. Now we're going to set up the FPV onto our quad and get it all ready to go fly. Now, because this quad doesn't have an extra... Um, power off of the wire harness. We actually have this little battery that we mounted on the top frame here to act as the power for our transmitter. And our transmitter, I like to install it on the front. And I'm just going to use tape. You can also use other adhesive materials like rubber bands or zip ties. I'm just going to tape it onto our front arm and point the antenna outward. We seem to get a better signal when it's pointing out away from the quad. So it's on there nice and tight. We're gonna take the video cord, plug into our GoPro and the power cord into our little battery. And again, if you have a newer XP2, your wire harness that comes out and plugs into your main battery is gonna have a little extra power connector for it. So if we had that wire harness, I would just plug that into that and we'd be good to go. Now to set up the receiver, all we need is another little two cell battery, or sorry, this is a three cell battery. It just has a little connector, same as this one up here. These will be available on our website too. They're pretty cheap. And we're gonna plug it in. The fan starts up on the transmitter. We can hear that. And then a little red light turns on our receiver so you can see you got power. Now, the next thing to do is just plug in your monitor or your video goggles. I'm gonna plug in my video goggles and I'm just gonna check to see if I have a signal. And I have a signal. So when you get your setup, the only thing you really have to do besides plugging the cords in and installing on your quad and that sort of stuff is you're gonna have to make sure that your receiver and your transmitter are on the same 4.8 gigahertz channel. Now there's instructions that we'll have on the product page that show you how to set up your receiver and your transmitter for which channels they work on. The receiver has channels on the back. It tells you which switches do what. So it tells you how to set up 
difference channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The transmitter doesn't have that guide on it, so we'll have that on the website to tell you how to flip the switches. We're on channel two. It seems to work really good here. Maybe if you're in California, you need channel six or something. I don't know. But channel two is the way to go. One nice thing about when you have video goggles or a monitor and you have a GoPro that you're filming with is that the GoPro gives you a time code or a recording time so you can see how long your flight is just by looking at your um, top of your screen. So, okay, okay I'm going to take off. Definitely when we have the antenna, sorry, the, the patch antenna pointed at the quad, this is going forward, pointing at it, we get a lot of distance. We don't know how far yet, but it's definitely 600 yards-ish. We can probably say line of sight, you know, trees and hills and other things in your way, it's gonna change it. But uh, we're gonna have to do some more tests on how far we can actually push it. This is not a good place to do it because if we go that way, we hit a road. If we go that way, we hit a school. And that way, a dog park. So 5.8 gigahertz, 500 milliwatts is definitely further than you probably need to go for filming stuff. So that's the 5.8 gigahertz um, FPV setup that's currently for sale on our website. 500 milliwatt transmitter. Works really well. We don't know the exact distance, but it's definitely one of the better ones we've tested. $300. It fits on your quad. If you have a newer XP2 with a new wire harness, it plugs right into it. If you want that wire harness, you can buy it from us. We'll send it to you. You can hook your battery into it or the power cord into that, or you can get these little cheap batteries that we'll be selling on the website as well to power both the transmitter and the receiver.